Hello book foxes, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how an ancient story of a great war could still be relevant in today's world? The Mahabharata might just surprise you. Welcome to at the book fox summaries, where we simplify books for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're diving into the epic saga of the Mahabharata, an ancient Sanskrit epic traditionally attributed to the sage Vyasa, story that has shaped the spiritual and cultural landscape of India for millennia. It was composed over 5,000 years ago, making it one of the oldest and longest epic poems in the world, with over 100,000 shlokas or couplets. This epic falls within the genres of mythology, ancient literature, and religious scripture. It's not just a story, but a text that has influenced countless aspects of Indian philosophy, culture, and art. As the title and thumbnail promise, by the end of this video, you'll grasp the key insights of the Mahabharata and understand why it continues to be a cornerstone of Indian literature. Also, you'll have all the essential insights to decide whether the Mahabharata is the right choice for your next read, purchase, or exploration. The Mahabharata tells the story of the Kurukshetra War, a colossal conflict between two factions of the Kuru dynasty, the Pandavas and the Kauravas. The narrative is built around the struggle of the Pandavas, the rightful heirs to the throne, against their envious cousins, the Kauravas, who usurped their kingdom through deceit and treachery. The central theme of the Mahabharata is Dharma, or righteous duty, and the moral dilemmas that arise when personal desires clash with societal obligations. The epic explores the consequences of these conflicts through the lives of its characters. Let's introduce the key characters. The Pandavas, Yudhishthira, Bhima, Arjuna, Nakula, and Sahadeva are the protagonists, each embodying different virtues like righteousness, strength, and wisdom. Opposing them are the Kauravas, led by Duryodhana, whose ambition and envy drive the narrative towards the inevitable war. Other pivotal characters include Draupadi, the shared wife of the Pandavas, whose humiliation is a key catalyst for the conflict, and Karna, the tragic hero who stands by the Kauravas despite knowing his true lineage. As the story progresses, each character undergoes significant development. Yudhishthira's adherence to truth is tested repeatedly, Arjuna faces a moral crisis on the battlefield and Karna's loyalty to Duryodhana leads to his tragic downfall. The Mahabharata delves into several profound themes. Dharma, which means duty, karma, the idea of action and consequence, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. It really questions what it means to live a righteous life in a world filled with moral ambiguity. These themes are not just confined to the ancient world, they resonate with the ethical dilemmas we face in our daily lives. For example, Arjuna's hesitation to fight against his kin reflects our own struggles with making difficult decisions when faced with conflicting duties. Two of the most memorable phrases from the Mahabharata are, Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata. This phrase, spoken by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, means, Whenever there is a decline in righteousness, O Bharata, and a rise in unrighteousness, then I manifest myself on earth. And then there's Dharma Evahato Hanti Dharma Rakshati Rakshita, which translates to Dharma, when destroyed, destroys. Dharma, when protected, protects. The first phrase highlights the concept of divine intervention in the battle between good and evil, a key theme in the Mahabharata. The second phrase underscores the importance of adhering to one's duty, as failing to do so leads to self-destruction. What I find most fascinating about the Mahabharata is its relevance to modern life. The epic doesn't shy away from exploring the gray areas of morality, making it a timeless reflection on the human condition. In today's world where we often face conflicts between our personal desires and our duties to others, the Mahabharata offers valuable lessons on how to navigate these challenges with wisdom and integrity. In summary, the Mahabharata is much more than just a story of war. It's a profound exploration of life's greatest questions, duty, morality, and the consequences of our actions. Whether you're interested in philosophy, spirituality, or just a compelling narrative, this epic has something for everyone. As promised, you now have all the information needed to decide if the Mahabharata is a book you'd like to explore further or add to your reading list. If you're someone who enjoys deep, thought-provoking literature, the Mahabharata is definitely worth your time. Even if you don't read the entire epic, understanding its key themes and messages can greatly enrich your perspective on life. And here's a bonus tip for those who make it to the end. If you're interested in exploring more of Voices of India, a journey through Indian literature, then The White Tiger is another must-read that delves into similar themes with equal intensity.
Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Share this video with fellow book lovers, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Book simplified, minds amplified, see you in the next summary.